I'm here today with Larry Zolch, CEO of Infinity Energy Systems. Larry, thank you very much for joining us today. So can you tell us, what does Infinity Energy Systems do? It's good to be with you, Tamsin. Infinity Energy Systems makes large-scale energy storage. We store energy generally created by renewable power, solar, wind, tide, and make it available when those are not operating. And we're doing that by creating vanadium flow batteries. And that's a battery technology that's long proven, very durable, and very appropriate for this use. And what is a vanadium flow battery? So a vanadium flow battery, which is a decades old and, and, and proven technology, stores energy in a liquid electrolyte, a mild battery acid, which has vanadium in it, which has the unique characteristic that it can store and discharge energy through something called a cell stack. And simply that's just membranes where the liquid interacts with electricity. And the advantage of it is that because the energy is stored in the liquid tanks, and the cell stack is separate, we're able to have a tank holding enough electrolyte to be appropriate to the needs, and the stack with enough electrical capability, enough power capability appropriate for those needs. So this, this keeps things in some sense disconnected. Vanadium is an element. It's very, very stable. It doesn't wear out. In fact, at the end of the lifetime of vanadium flow battery, the vanadium electrolyte is still perfectly good. So we're able to have a battery that meets all the requirements for utility grade storage. It's safe. The electrolyte is water-based, so it'll never catch on fire. It is long life. It doesn't wear out. We all know lithium ion batteries in our cell phones or cars, wherever they wear out over time. Not so in this case. And third, economical. Because they last so long, then the use of the battery over that period of time is very inexpensive per unit of power that's stored and discharged, more than any other on the market right now. And that gives us some tremendous advantages for anyone looking long-term at a project. They're saying, ah, this is the most economical way to do that. And increasingly, people are realizing we're going to be using renewable energy for decades to come. Let's have our infrastructure support that. And then fourth, it has to be proven. You know, there are many experimental technologies that are in the lab that look promising, but until they're turned into a product, until they're actually sold as a standard product into a project, they're unproven and they can't be part of our energy infrastructure that we depend on. So in terms of your competition, both in vanadium flow batteries and more broadly in energy storage, who are they? Well, we have a number of competitors, as we might call them, in vanadium flow batteries. In truth, though, we support them across the market. We want to see vanadium flow batteries be acknowledged as the most important alternative to lithium systems. Uh, there are other competitors uh, in with, as I mentioned, alternate technologies, but none of them are at the point where they're a product yet, and they're not very far along. And then there's lithium ion batteries. And they certainly have important uses. And sometimes we co consider them competition, but we actually are also working together with them. So we're very compatible with lithium ion batteries. In, in the project in Oxford, England that we are doing, we are working alongside uh, lithium ion batteries. We're taking the heavy cycling part so that this project doesn't wear out. And only once our batteries are fully utilized does the lithium battery kick in. So it's an example where we're not always competition with lithium ion. So can you talk us through some of the projects, who you're doing them with, what you're doing for them, and why vanadium flow batteries? One of the most exciting projects, the one we consider a milestone for us, is Energy Superhub Oxford. And we'll be uh, announcing its completion this year. Energy Superhub Oxford is about the electrification of Oxford. So that when people are using electricity for almost everything, then normally that would create a little bit of instability in the power supply in the grid. And so this battery system that we're participating in, Energy Super Hub Oxford, is able to address that instability. Done by EDF, it's a combination of the largest flow battery ever in the UK, plus a lithium system. And Infinity's at the front taking the heavy cycling requirements and then only when the Infinity system's uh, been fully utilized does the lithium kick in. So that's just one project. But we're also seeing projects 
like in uh, Scotland, working with tidal power to generate clean or green hydrogen. We're working in California, uh, with California Energy Commission is commissioned long duration projects and we're working uh, for resilience in, in the face of natural disasters or just power outages of any kind, plus being able to consume solar power and, and use it to uh, reduce the requirements on the rest of the grid. And we're working in Australia um, on a, the largest battery that Infinity has ever done. And that's a solar coupled with the battery directly. So there's a very, very efficient process. And the solar power is able to be used overnight because of the duration of our battery. So these are just some of the projects that we're working on and we're very excited about. And then you've got the joint venture with Siemens Gamesa. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? The, the joint venture with Siemens Gamesa is very important to us. We announced that we will be building the next generation of our battery system, and that is targeted on a market that we haven't been able to address so far. Siemens Gamesa does wind turbines, and they're very large scale. But wind turbines now, are at, the projects are at maximum output when the wind is blowing. In fact, three out of four days in the UK last year, wind energy was curtailed, was not used because there was so much of it available. And yet, of course, when the wind stops blowing, you wish you had it. And that's what the energy storage can do is translate the energy from when it's being created to when it's needed. So as Siemens Gamesa looked around at energy storage, they realized that lithium batteries were not going to meet their needs. They, the, the constant cycling of wind just wears them out too quickly other battery technologies weren't sufficiently advanced to support what they wanted to do, but vanadium flow batteries could. But this is a new scale for us. It's a new market segment. We justifiably were proud of 20 megawatt hours that we announced last year. The smallest project that we envisioned coming out of the joint development with Siemens Gamesa, 200 megawatt hours. So this is of, an, of a scale that we haven't seen before. And it's a two-year development process before we come to market with the first product. So this is something that we're actively working on now. We have teams that work on it now, and we're very excited about the progress that we've been making. And Siemens Gamesa are huge. So you see this, I presume, as a very long-term partnership. Absolutely. In fact, it's not just a joint development agreement, it's a joint development and commercialization agreement. So we've already put together the framework for how we will work together to deploy these products into projects around the world. We're a small company, but we have deep expertise in vanadium flow batteries. Siemens Gamesa has a very, very broad worldwide footprint with people all over that are able to support uh, the kind of work that we need to do together. So that's a great partnership that we're looking forward to. And they could actually take 10% of the company if it goes in the right direction. That's exactly right. So we anticipate at some point they will want to exercise their, their option. And, and that will be as we develop this uh, together and as they decide that they want to have an even closer relationship than we already do. And it is quite good right now, but uh, it can even get closer once they exercise that option. Fantastic. So what are you most excited about at the moment? Well, I'm really excited about being able to demonstrate the proven quality of our utility grade batteries. I'm, I'm excited that we're going to be able to uh, announce this year that Energy Super Up Oxford is working, that other projects that we have announced are deployed and operating. Because once we've done that, once we're, once we're showing that, that green hydrogen requires energy storage to stabilize renewable energy, and that it works and that we can demonstrate that or we can demonstrate that that a solar powered battery can provide overnight solar power these these will then take us to the next level of having some of the projects that we're currently talking with uh come and say now we understand this is the first time there's been a viable alternative to lithium systems the first time that a vanadium flow battery has been a product standard built in a factory then we're unlocking a whole new set of opportunities for us. So Infinity was formed in March 2020, where various large shareholders came in. Can you talk a little bit about the shareholder base? Certainly. As you might imagine, March 2020 was quite the time to put a company together. So we had some challenges, but we had the support of Bushfeld, 
uh, importantly for the merger process and Schroeder's who came in at that time with the vision of, of, of where we could take the company. Uh, Bushfeld's strategy was very clear. They wanted to support the creation of Vinay and Flow battery companies. We're one of them. They've since sold out and, are, and we still have a very good relationship with them and we're, we're very grateful to them. Schroeder's has continued to support us and, and was part of the placing and has even acquired some shares since it's been announced. And that's because they see very clearly the opportunity for stationary energy storage in the larger market and an alternative to lithium. And the Infinity is in a leading position there. So we're grateful for their support and other institutional shareholders who came in in the placing and are patient with us as we go through the development phase. And then as we get into the commercialization phase, it will become very, very clear why they have that confidence in our future. So what should investors expect in the short, medium and long term? I think in the short term, they will see that we will be announcing the completion of projects that we uh, announced last year. And that will demonstrate that we are ready for the next phase. And that phase is a growth phase of commercialization of a, of a factory built product. And then I think that over the long term, they will see that we will be working towards our goal of 10% of the global energy storage market. That's billions of pounds. Um, but by 2030, we see that that's entirely possible. Larry, thank you very much indeed. It sounds a very exciting journey and lots of luck with it. Thank you very much for the opportunity to talk with you.